Right, hey guys, this is the time of the season once again to actually debrief and tell you guys what I'm going to watch next season. Next season being the summer season, so i am actually been doing this for a whole entire year now, so summer season is basically when I first started, so I've actually been here an entire year, so yeah, it's been quite a fun year, I must say. I kind of enjoyed myself more than I actually imagined. Times were tough sometimes, but I got through them, but yeah. So, for me, this season seems kind of a bit strange, because I'm actually going to be away for two weeks of it, so I'm going to miss a couple of starts of anime, so I'm going to miss Mob Psycho 100, and I'm going to miss some other animes here and there, but... Yeah, when I come back, I'm basically going to review it anyway, so just don't worry about it. But this season isn't got anything that's kind of screaming out to me besides Mob Psycho 100, uh, Food Wars, and a couple of other ones that kind of look alright. Other than that, it all seems kind of a bit eh. Kind of like what Summer was like last year. It's just a bit eh towards when Fall will bring the good stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I just don't know. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, I am using live chart because I do believe that's probably the best one. And, yeah, Food Wars is the first one that actually appears. Granted, this is the granted part. I have not watched season one. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip when Food Wars first starts. And I'm actually going to go to Spain and watch the entire series out in Spain. And when I come back, just basically a review of me actually of the episodes that I've actually missed. So, I'm going to miss three episodes in, to in, in its total. So when I come back, I'll actually review those episodes I actually missed and then basically go into the next episodes like that. So don't worry about it. But I'm, I'm actually still going to watch it, but I just need to catch up first with it. So that will be a watching one. Okay, so... Uh, Nanatsu no Tazai. See, this one's kind of one of those, one of those animes I was like... I have to watch it, so I've not watched it again. It's one of those ones I haven't watched. I haven't got enough time to actually sit down and watch a lot of animes. I've bought so much recently that I haven't actually sat down and watched any of them. I'm actually kind of catching up with Spice and Wolf, kind of catching up with Berserk. But all those, I'm kind of just going at it slowly. And that's, you know, Taizai is another one. So the problem is with this one is the fact it's only four episodes long. So I don't think there's much point in me catching up with it just to watch four extra, four extra episodes. I don't think there's much point to it. So if I do catch up with it and actually do watch it, I will be there basically so I'm gonna put it to consider at the moment because I just don't know yet right real life real life's gonna be one of the ones I'm gonna watch because it actually looks really freaking good and by what the digital manga was it's actually pretty interesting so not to worry I will watch that same thing with orange I've heard so many good things about it that I'm not gonna skip it because it actually does look freaking great so that's another one I will actually watch Right, so, Taboo Tattoo. Well, they, the animes do get particular after a while, don't they? Seigi, a martial arts trained middle school, often feeds driven to protect the weaker people around him. Often feels, sorry. One day he defends a homeless man against some punks, and the other man gives him a strange tattoo on his palm in return. The tattoo is a secret weapon produced by the arms race between America and Serenson, whatever that name, Kingdom. Seigi finds himself in, the, in over his head when a powerful girl using the same secret weapon violently pursues him in order to retrieve it. His skills at martial arts may not be enough to keep him alive, but he but will be able to learn how to figure the power of his tattoo in time. Seems kind of interesting, actually. I might, I might, I might have to watch it. I don't know. Right. If I'm correct, isn't, isn't Hanada-kun the actual like prequel to um, Barakamon? Which I swear is another one I have to actually kind of go watch first before I actually watch that one. So if it happens to be that, I grudge, I've, at the day I go out to Spain, I swear that it's that day as well anyway, so I won't be able to watch it. But if it happens to be a prequel and I have to watch a sequel first, then I will actually watch a sequel as well. So either way, I'll put it to consider in this case it actually does actually appear. Oh, uh, well, there's no, there's just, there's, there's, there's no, there, do I need to actually kind of introduce Mob Psycho 100? Of course I'm going to watch it, but I won't be here because July 12th I'll be in Spain. So if I actually do happen to actually be able to upload in Spain, because, again, the one thing I always, always have to establish is the fact that actually in Spain, there is hardly any internet. Like, it's like a barren waste of, of like, Wi-Fi. So, yeah, sometimes I don't get anything. So, that's why I don't really tend to kind of upload one out in Spain. But if I happen to get any internet, I will actually review the ones I'm actually missing. So, don't worry about it anyway. So, it like a 100. I will review when I get back, if that's the case. I'm going to miss two episodes, I think. So, just catch up with it. Don't worry about it. Madhouse, you are returned. You have returned. Sorry, I can't even... I, I'm so tired recently, I haven't been able to enunciate English anymore. So, Nejimaki Seiri Senki Tenkoyu no Aldamarine. I even know that. So, I like no adaptation, so basically it means we're going to watch it, get no sequel, and that's going to be that. 
because as I've seen as of late with Madhouse adaptations of light novels, is the fact that they're basically just there to kind of advertise a light novel more than anything. They're not there to kind of just like do anything else. They're trying to advertise a light novel so the light novel actually sells more. It works in 9 out of 10 times because it got Overlord. Overlord kind of got really popular afterwards and it freaking deserves it because it's an amazing light novel plus an amazing manga series so don't worry about it but still same thing, same thing with no game that alive around correctly same thing happened so with neji maki i'm probably gonna imagine the same thing's gonna happen but i kind of seen it and i was kind of interested to see what it was gonna do it looked it looked kind of interesting so the cancer javana empire is a state of war with the adjacent Kyo Kyoka Republic. In a region due to certain circumstances, there was certain youth unwillingly prepared to take high school grade. With material of offering exam, and his name is Ikata. It's like the war lazy and admire a woman. No one's pretending the kind of Ikata would later on become a soldier referred to as even a greater commander. Ikata was survived while the body in the war, superior genius, and raised a splendid master majority, illustrating his soldatic life. Ooh. Yeah. Let's consider it. I, I, I'll watch it. Cause it's, 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 um,. It's Madhouse, and I always like Madhouse, even though they make sequels to the animes I want. Tales of Zestere the X. Okay, so is this actually going to be an adaptation of the video game, or is it going to be a side thing? Because I'm actually playing the video game at the moment, so that's the problem I have. I don't really want to kind of play the. I don't want to do a side by side as watch the anime while I'm playing the video game. I want to know if it's actually a side or it's going to be an adaptation. It happens to be an adaptation, and I guess I can watch it, granted. It's Ufotable, and I did not like God Eater. I thought God Eater was terrible, and I thought it was kind of one of those animes that just... there. It was meh. It was one of those ones that just... It tried, but it failed as a story. As a, as a character-driven anime, plus a story-driven anime, it was horrendous. But as an, as an animation point, and if and its story t told visually, it was freaking great. But, I mean, I did like Tales of Stereo, the... I think the five hours I've played of it so far, granted I've had no time to play it, plus I don't understand why Never Christ didn't release on the Vita because it would have been a lot better because if I if if you know me for anything, I do like playing RPGs on the Vita because I actually get further in them on the Vita than on the PS4. So I don't understand why they did that. But either way, I will actually watch it because I do like Tuzest area. And yeah. Oh A1 Pictures original Ooh. One day, one day code. The story takes place at the world in which people continue their war against the unknown, the enemy of humanity. Really, they are children who have been evacuated to the cold sleep facility during the invasion by the unknown police cars going past, by the unknown several decades ago. When they wake up from their slumber, when they learn their bodies divert some supernatural forces impact the country from the unknown. Emerging from the Tokyo Bay Gate, the boys and girls wage battles in defense city of Tokyo. That looks really generic. Ain't gonna freaking lie. I, 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 the plot stops just kind of went, come maybe go, well, they're not really thinking stuff through very well, are they? They're kind of just going, well, we're gonna put some generic names in there, so. It could be surprising, I mean, you never know. I mean, I don't know, because it just. Oh, it's A1 Pictures. Just, I don't freaking... Ah, uh, let's consider it. I mean, if it's turned out to be alright, I'll continue watching it. I'll probably give it about three episodes before I kind of drop it. Because what I learned this season is I shouldn't be doing too many animes because my brain actually does fry after a while. And since I did kind of just get overwhelmed, I wasn't doing that many. I was only doing about 15. My brain was just going after a while. Right, so vamp. I mean... It might be better than bloody Enride because Enride was a pile of poop in like after like I don't know, don't know two episodes I kind of gave up with it because it was so terrible. I mean I saw PVs of this and I kind of looked it kind of looked a bit interesting. I mean I don't know. I mean I could I could sit there. I mean it's a sh it's an action comedy show of an actual vampire. Yeah, why not? Okay, 91 Days. This is the one I was actually the most curious about because it's done by Shuka, the guy who did Dorara. It's original. It looks freaking great. It's got it's got a uh, Ling Toshita Shigure, if I'm actually pronouncing the name of the band right, which is also my favorite band to listen to, as doing the opening. So I was kind of like, yeah, I'm sold. I mean, if it, the anime is not that great, the opening will keep me go keep me going. So yeah, I mean, it looked freaking great. It had like it was about revenge and stuff like that. It looked kind of mature and after watching Joker game I'm kind of really getting into the mature genre of anime. So yeah, let's, continue. let's actually watch it. Uh D Grey Man Hollow. See this 
this is the anime which is kind of which kind of got me like, oh, D, D Gray Man's coming back, and then I realized it's thirteen episodes long, and I realized I haven't caught up to D Gray Man to that point. I haven't caught up yet to say, okay, well, I can actually watch it. I just don't know yet. Um, I just haven't caught up to it yet. It just it seems like it's I just don't know. It, just, it seems like it's gonna be a waste of time me catching up to the sixty four episodes I've missed so far, just to get to thirteen episodes more. I just don't know whether or not to just do it, trying to just catch up the manga, get to this point where the anime starts and leave it like that. I'm not too freaking sure, but I just don't know because I didn't like D Gray Man that much. I thought D Gray Man was kind of boring. I mean, it just. I was too young. I was too young. I did watch when I was kind of in my infancy of watching anime. I don't know. It just it was enjoyable for maybe the first I would say ten episodes, and it kind of got a bit eh. Then it kind of picked up maybe about episode forty. But I think I watched it to the end of the dub. I'm not too sure, but I'll consider it. I just don't know. If I had to, I had to catch up first to it. Right, Danganronpa three. See, this is another one because I've I like Danganronpa. But I haven't played all the games yet. I played Danganronpa 1, finished it, then I played number 2. I bought number 2, I bought it on the store on PlayStation, because in England, finding Danganronpa 2 was impossible. Like, it was literally the worst thing in the world because it just wasn't available. Literally, just did a few after one. I just kind of gave up on PlayStation Network, did a sale when I had it for like 15 quid, so I just bought it, but I haven't played it yet. It's on my Vita still, but I have, to get, I have to kind of sit down and play it one day. But Danganronpa 3 is split into two arcs. That One of one of them's taken place with, the, I think, the original cast, and then it's some kind of other arc. It kind of looked interesting. It's got to review it twice in a week. I think one of them appears on one day, and one appears on another day. But it's I swear it's also the very, very, very last one as well. But... I don't know. I'll be in Spain when it comes out, so I could marathon away from my way through the entirety of the series and just play the game afterwards. I'm not watching anime anime adaptation because I've seen I've seen how bad it is. Like I just I, I think I watched the first couple episodes of the anime adaptation, but gave up a bit because it's so terrible. So I'll consider them because if I can watch it, I'll watch it. But I have to re marathon away through the entirety of the game series first just to kind of catch up and kind of refresh my brain. No. <laughs> just no. <laughs> I just thought I've, I've actually read a light novel. I actually kind of sat down and said, "Okay, so Mouse Girl can HSH. How? Uh, okay, so how? What are you gonna do to me this season? Since Hundred was a pile of poop, let me lose my anti, lose my faith in anti with the harem genre. Could this anime change it? So I read some of the light novel. No, the light novel got a bit too much after a while. It kind of got a bit too near the fracking knuckle. I thought what the point was like. I don't think I want to watch that. So yeah." No, I mean, it's, it's, it's boobs. I got to the point where I just don't care anymore, like, when it comes to the actually genre, hen, heron genre. Unless it's high school DXD, I ain't gonna watch it. Unless it's, like, season two of, um, Shiro the Feld Knight, I ain't gonna watch it, because as they two I actually enjoyed, it actually were freaking great, because other than that, it would have been pretty freaking awful so far. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna watch it, so... <sighs> Right, so Hitori no Shita the Outcast. I was really confused about this because this is a this is a man so it's not, it's is it not it's not Japanese I mean, if I'm correct, but it looked kind of interesting. One day Zhang Chulan is attacked by zombies in the graveyard. In the midst of what your situation, he saves the life of a girl, throwing the kitchen knife into his hand in order to kill the enemy. Judge Chulan who. who Chulan, if I'm pronouncing that right, so if I'm not, who is relieved to face his hardships and head head on and knees. However, Chulan later sees that girl again in the university. From the moment Chulan Zhang Chulan as he begins to move, there will be strange special powers. Those abilities each episode will bring a new mystery to light. But if I'm credit, these things never get very very widely like gr like kind of. I don't know how to say it. Like they don't they don't get subbed very often since I've there used to be one called Chu Feng B. Which I watched the first couple of episodes of it, but it never really ever got subbed. It kind of just came out randomly. So, I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to watch that one. Alright, Berserk. This is the one I'm kind of most interested in this whole entire series, beside, this whole entire season, besides um, Night One Days. I mean, I've kind of sort of watched some of the original series. I've got to watch the movies to kind of catch up before July 1st happens, so before next Friday. But, yeah, it looks like a PS2 game. That's the problem. I mean, we went from actual animation to some CGI plus animation to full-blown CGI. And, yeah, I just don't know. It kind of just... Eh. I mean, and it's... Why do you briefly hint at the end of the first and last episode of 1997 television anime? I think this is actually the... Um, 
I think this is actually a, kind of like a pseudo sequel to it or some kind of other adaptation or something. But it looked interesting, plus I did kind of want to watch uh, Berserk because I've heard so many good things about it. Just kind of never got around to it. It's one of those things that just... A lot of animes do come out, and I kind of sit there going, I do want to get around to watching them, but just sometimes I just can't because my kind of life gets in the way sometimes, so I just can't watch it. Granted, the only good thing was, there are Berserk films, which kind of sums up the entirety of what's happened in the manga, plus adds some new characters in there. So that's kind of actually kind of made me a little bit at ease, because I actually watched those instead of actually watching the anime series and just catch up with the lore itself. So yeah, I will actually watch Berserk because I probably will be able to catch up with it. Granted, I will miss two episodes of it while I'm in Spain, so probably I'll catch up with that as well. <laughs> Oh, Christ, okay. So, rewrite. Re. I can't even say that word. Rewrite. That's it. Rewrite. Um. I kind of. It kind of interesting. I mean, it's, it's got an hour long special on this first episode, so I was like, whew. Okay. So, the story will portray the sixth route left untold in the game, which will tell the story of that girl. Oh, beep, what up? I mean, it's not, it's not leaving much to adaptation, is it? Like, it's getting straight to the point, like, in the sense it, it turns through off of that girl. Like, you just, you don't need to know anything else. I mean, if it's like, freaking hell, it's that girl we're going to get. It's like, okay. Um, I don't know. It looked interesting. I haven't played the game because, as you probably tell, if you live in England, visual novels are fracking hard to find. Sometimes, Steins Gate's, like, the most widely found video game in the universe, so it's actually Code, um, code Realize as well. Not Code Realize. X-Plays. That's the one. Code Realize never came out here. But... I don't know, rewrite seems kind of interesting, so I will actually watch it. So, Kono Bishitsubi ni wa Mondai ga aru. It's probably going to be a really, sh it's going to be a short set of series, isn't it? It's probably going to be a short series. I mean, if it happens to be a long series, I will actually watch it, so I will consider it. Okie doke, Ozen Seki, Senki. I always plan to Seki, but it's actually Senki. Fujin Rambu. So this one happens to be a sequel to the original 2014, 2014 or 2015, one of the two, one of those years, um, of anime. But it's eight episodes long, so I've got to watch 24 episodes to get to this one point. So again, I don't know whether to not to actually kind of catch up with it. I mean, I've heard a really good thing about Oz and Senki. I've kind of always wanted to catch up with it, but it's eight episodes long, so I'm kind of sitting there wondering, is there much point to it? Am I going to get anything out of it? I don't know. So, if I happen to do, I would consider it. Right, Studio Dean's back again, because Studio Dean's now every, in every single bloody season. Hatsukoi Monster. When 15-year-old Kahu, not to pronounce that name, leaves his sheltered home to start a, new, start a life anew in a Tokyo high school dormitory, the last thing he, she expects is to nearly get hit by a truck. Jesus freaking Christ. Saved in the nick of time by a handsome stranger, Kaho falls head over heels for him, and finally, and after finally tracking him down, boldly confesses her feelings. Turns out Kaho, mis mystery saver, savior, I can't even read today. Kanade is the son of Kaho's new landlord. The handsome object, object of Kaho's affection agrees to go out of her, but her newfound bliss is short-lived when it turns out her new boyfriend is fifth, is a fifth grader. What? I mean that just sounds that sounds that sounds in, interesting enough not to actually kind of miss it. I mean I just I, I Studio Dean man, what are you fracking doing? I don't freaking know anymore. They're just doing whatever the hell they want, aren't they? Right. So, Ama to Izam Inazuma. Uh, slice of life. That woman's eating a massive like sandwich. I kind of want to get a bit of that one sandwich. She looks really freaking nice. Having lost his wife, math teacher Kyohei Inzuka is doing his best to raise his young daughter Tsugumi as a single father. He's, he's pretty bad at cooking and doesn't have a huge appetite to begin with. But chance is... But I can't read anymore. But chance brings his, his little family and one of his students, Kotori Ida, together for homemade adventures, which, which those three cooks in the kitchen. It's no wonder this dinner table drama is so delicious. Huh. Seems kind of interesting. I consider it. I consider it. Oh no, Do Doga Cobo's back. So this one's called New Game. Meet Aoba Shinzu Kaze, a fresh, a fresh high school graduate, easily mistaken for a middle school student who joins the game company that produced her favorite free game as a 3D artist and her cute antics as she gets in her way through work and deals with her new wacky co-workers. Okay. 
<laughs> that sounds so. That sounds kind of strange. I don't think that's how the game industry works. If it does, then we're, I'm getting into the wrong industry. Um. Yeah, why not? It seems kind of harmless. It might, be, it might be a short one anyway. See, it's like half of these ones I'm not even realizing coming out. Uh, Fugikeno Namono Kian. Period. Uh, if it's period plus, I think it's going to be short. Um, because I did that other one this um, season, the Oni Girl, which is only about three minutes long and it was terrible. I mean, I watched the first episode I'm like, what is this? What is this? Please tell me what this is. I just didn't watch it after that point, but if it happens to be not a short one, I have to do it all right. I shall consider it. Saki Kusu, no, that symbol, none. Um, Saiki Kurusu has a wide array of superpowers at its command, including telepathy and telekinesis. This might sound awesome, but in Kurusu's, Kurusu's experience, superpowers are not all they crack up to be. He tries to live a normal life despite his annoying abilities. Huh. It's JC Staff as well, it's Egg, it's egg Firm. So they're the guys, they they did things together, didn't they? Uh, prison schools. So, yeah, why not? I mean, JC Staff actually made, made Flying Witch, was actually my favorite animated season before. So many other ones kind of just went naff, and we got to like me a bit more. Right, so, Ange Virch. Uh, it's a card game. Story of the card game flows what happens when Hario port portal suddenly open, fusing three different worlds together as a result of various mysterious exceed powers are awakened in teenage girls. The kind of for those so-called so progress girls is built to like Siren's Island in the Pacific. Silverlink. I just don't know. Because, again, it seems okay. It doesn't seem like it's going to... Eh. Momokuri Momo was that anime they were doing like last season as like really short, but now they're doing it as a long form. Huh, that's kind of strange. I mean, they did a couple of episodes of shorts. I think they did like 24 episodes of shorts, but now it's coming out as a uh, long-running series. Huh, consider it. I mean, I kind of watched one episode I never watched after that point. Now look, sports animes. Days. So it centers on two boys who were never meant to meet. Takushi has, has no special skills, but secretly hides passionate heart and Jin Kazuma, Kazuma, an architect of soccer genius, a stormy knight, the two meet, and the meeting creates a whirlwind of world high school soccer. Ha! Huh, football anime! I don't like football that much. As a person, I mean, most, English, most people in my, in my country enjoy, adore football. It's kind of one of those people who just don't like it. I didn't see a reason in it, but... I mean, it seems kind of, it seems kind of interesting, so... Kind of consider it. Uh, it's also made by Mappa as well, so Mappa's had to be one of my favorite studios, so I might actually watch it. Okay. Okay. Regalia, the Three Sacred Stars. It's an original by a studio I'd never heard of. Akatas. Or oh, I have heard of them, but I can never remember them. S could be another Comet Lucifer, and that was a pretty terrible anime. In this show story, 12, year 12 years ago, in the country of Rimgard, a big incident left an unsolved mystery that has begun to fade from people's memories. The time passes, and a sister, Yui and Arena, are living peacefully in, in Estria Empire. However, one day a large mecha attacks Estria, and the day marks the turning point where two girls get caught in the vortex of fate. That's like, that just sounds like genres that just don't mix. Cute girls and mecha. I could be wrong. I've, I, I can't remember any animes I've seen with cute girls and mecha in my, in my lifetime, but... Let's consider it. Right, so battery. This is another one that's kind of interesting because I kind of saw it. I was like, "Seems doesn't seem like it's a bad anime." But I mean, it's it's a drama slash life sports anime. So meet Harada Takumi. Not even a junior high, not even in junior high, and he's the best pitcher in the region. Although he's frustrated and ready to give up because he can't find a catcher who is good enough to keep up with how he pitches in his backwater town. His family has just moved to. Then along came a, along comes a kid named Nak. Nagakura Go. Huh. Seems kind of interesting. So, I'm um, um, not you. See, this one's kind of interesting because I saw it. I, can't, I kind of saw the PBs. I was kind of like, this doesn't seem too bad. It seems kind of interesting. And, I mean, the character designs are kind of strange and they're kind of interesting. So, 
I mean, it's Slice of Life done by JC Staff when it did it also did Flying Witch this season. Plus, I kind of like. I don't know, it can be good, so I'll watch it. Um, God, that's like one like one I made that whole entire road. I'm actually watching them as I'm considering. Sacred 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 Rider Zex. Oh, a Tome game. Oh no, it's an Tome game. It has it just got rid of the romance side of it. Oh no. Don't know. Well, oh, God's people being menaced by Nightfly, a nerd to a mysterious alien invader from Crimson World via the Crimson Barrier Sacred to counter the Night Nightfly Oh no to Freya. Humans are savage a lag defense agency at the Riku, Riku Island. Riku? If I the word right. The anti Nightfly Oh no to fighting unit Sacred Rider Vanity stood against the Freya but completely wiped out five times. And so, the sixth and latest unit, Sacred Rider Zex, were assembled from the five young men, however, nearly the same time SRX was formed. A nightly Onota invasion stopped suddenly. Without the enemy they were supposed to fight, the SRX members spend their restless days dealing with ordinary life. The SRX members established a musical band, ODs, to deal with the low spirits and resistance. Meanwhile, young woman is assigned to Lang as their official structure and commander. New life begins as a young woman. And the S uh, and the SRX sounds interesting. It does actually kind of sound interesting. It's going to, it sounds like an Otome game. It really does. Oh, Love Lives Back. Really, Love Lives Back? Huh. Really? I never realised it was coming back. I haven't even watched the original series. It's one of those things I just kind of should have really watched it. But I never got around to it. So, can't be watching that one anyway. So. Same with Fate, Khalid, Linea Prisima, Ila, Ia, Fri, if I'm pronouncing the name of that word right. Full series? Is it the fourth series? I thought it was a third. Really, it's a fourth. Jesus freaking Christ, where the, hell, where the hell have I been? Ah, again. Never watched the first three, so I can't really watch the fourth. I don't think I have enough time to catch up. Tear Dash. Tear da I quit too quickly to Tear Dash. I didn't see the E, I didn't see the irony. It says T Tear Dan She. Sorry about that. Uh, it's made by Brain Base. The story revolves around the slutty, odd, and cute members of a cheerleading squad at the Ment University. Wow. Anime does get particular after a while, doesn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. I mean. I don't know. Seems mildly interesting. Consider it. I mean, I could watch this episode and kind of be like, "All right, since it seems all right, so why not?" All right, I think that's the end of it now. I do believe. So, Fudanshi Kokuru Seikatsu. To come and do the pics of daily life for Sakaguchi, a high school boy, and also Fudanshi, who loves boy love stories. Fudan Fudanshi is a wordplay of Fujoshi, literally rotten, literally rotten girls. The slang. For women who love boys, love yaoi stories. Freaking course. It's a guy who reads yaoi. It's kind of like, why not? Why wouldn't you? Freaking course. Yes. Of course I'm going to watch it. See, look, they're making an Otome game that has a romance in that harem historical romance sojo fantasy. Oz, Oz Mafia? It's the it's a credits in parks. So it's going to be a short. So that's pretty cute. Um, who's considering? Right, Sukita the animation. Sukita the animation. Perhaps in the way name of that word right. Sukita has two versions: the male version and the female version. The male version centers around the Tokyo Idol Unit Six Gravity Composer. Okay, seriously, yeah, I'm watching that. It's a fracking male idol group. Fracking, why not? Like, why wouldn't I? I don't need to read on. Saw a bloody male version since around Tokyo Idol Unit 6 Gravity. I'm like, freaking yes, I'm just freaking sold. Like, it's band of heaven, I'm in. Of course, I want to watch it. And you have B Project. This looks kind of, sort of the same. Story, revolves, story follows Tsubaki, a new high in the AR department of a major recording company, Granada Music. Tsubaki immediately assigned to oversees the Idol Unit B Project. Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. No. Time travel shoujo Mariwaka to eight eight nin no 
Kagakusha Taichi. There's no synopsis. I have no fracking idea what the hell it's about, but it looks kind of interesting, but a long ass name. It's also 12 episodes long, probably a short, so I might consider it. Honobono Log. The anime offers hot woman pigs that lives with ch ch close couples and families. It has kind of a nice art style to it, so maybe it might be a short one I actually watch. <gasps> Bri Young, isn't, isn't, isn't this a cute, isn't this like the cute high school, like, magical boy anime that I kind of saw a couple of seasons ago that I didn't actually watch, but I kind of, I kind of saw pictures on Tumblr, I was like, that seems interesting. Glad to have watched this first series, so maybe I might catch up with it because I'm actually in Spain when it comes out. So yeah, consider it because I might cons I'm actually able to catch up. <gasps> right, I'm pretty much got to the point of short and F. I'm not going to watch that one by Studio Period because Studio Period can't animate to say they've got damn lives. So, Maho Shoujo Naria Girls. Aria, Hanabi, and Inaho are three girls who aim to become nationality renowned characters by creating animation. For of themselves. If she's the magical girl theme to catch attention of everyone from children to adults, they can sa they can safely become popular characters in one core magical girl theme anime. Jesus freaking Christ, it's got self aware. They're growing they've grown sentient. The anime has grown sentient. DF What's going on anymore? Like this is the world's not even the same anymore. Like this they they know what to do. They know how to catch your attention. They know you gotta go do magical girls and you gotta be freaking cute. That's how you that, that's how you freaking get the audience, so uh, I mean, I'm probably not going to watch it, but... Um... No, What? Bones is only doing a short this season. Huh. What do you know? Can't watch it. I mean, watch Show by Rock. No. Puzzled and Dragon Cross. It's a game made by Studio Period. And look what happened with Divine Gate. So, no. <laughs> oh, man. This is the one about the guy who... This is the, like... This is the one about the farts, isn't it? This is the one about the farts. Freaking course I am. <laughs> it's about farts. It's like, why not? And then this one, which I haven't watched before, series, nor have you heard of it. So that freaking does it. I don't know how many I'm actually, I'm actually watching this season. Like, definitely watching, but it's like a, it seems like an interesting season. It hasn't it hasn't got any ones that kind of screaming out to me saying, "Well, freaking hell, like, this looks freaking good." Hopefully, Berserk tends to be really, really freaking good. Hopefully. I'll catch up with Food Wars and all the rest of the animes I've said I'm considering right now. But yes, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. So it might be a really freaking long video, but now you know what I'm gonna watch. If I have to drop any, sorry about that. It's kind of probably because I've got enough. I've got a lot of things going on in real life that I can't catch up with all the animes or it has to be crap. But yes. So with all that said, I've been a driver. If you've enjoyed the long ass video, do leave a like. It doesn't quite a bit. If you enjoy content as a whole, you're new here, please leave a like. Please leave a sub if I actually know the words properly. It, it does have you quite a bit. But with all that said, I've been a driver, and I will see you guys later and in the next season. See you guys then. <laughs>